a you want to get it right yes absolutely yeah you know and i understand that i am the the cisgendered guy talking. You but, know what I mean? But and, also, and it's we need more people like you who are brave enough yes. to say something for us. Of course, of course. Let's talk about this really cool project. So River, tell me about how Pony Boy also is a story about intersex identity. When I wrote the short film, which this feature is based on, I wanted to talk about that part of my identity for the first time, because I just, hadn't, and at the time I actually didn't know the word intersex existed. I just had um, a very checkered medical history that and that was very painful. Um, and in writing the short, I discovered the word intersex and that there was a community of people fighting for body autonomy and for doctors to end these unnecessary um, cosmetic, medically unnecessary surgeries um, on intersex youth. Um, on intersex just, infants? Infants, yes. and. It was difficult because it was a very vulnerable and still is a very vulnerable part of my identity. But I know as an activist that like it's it's important for me to take that pain in stride and to educate people either in conversation or with a film like this film is, you know, why I'm here in the world. We reached out to many different directing candidates to interview and S1 just he got the story on so many different levels of my intersecting identities. He just had such a strategic plan to collaborate and to bring this story to life and also to honor my story and my vision as an artist as well. And we just worked together and it was just so wonderful. Victoria, was this your first time working with this cast? Was this your first time interacting with uh, everyone for the first time on this, on this film shoot? Not Dylan. We had worked together like four years previous. Oh, it's so cool. Which is really cool because I signed on to it first, um, like quite a while before uh, he got involved. So that was really exciting. Um, that definitely, you know, built a little bit of comfort into the experience, just knowing that I knew somebody going into it. And also River and I had a chance to really get to know each other in the months leading up. India, what was it like uh, being in a movie that you hope helps people realize we can talk about all these intersecting topics and we can still have a beautiful story that's for everyone? I'm always interested in to understanding sometimes the hostile visceral responses that some people have toward queer and trans people mm -hmm. and intersex, and talking about intersex folks and like my brother, he doesn't like being told what to believe. Mm -hmm. And like, that's just an example. And I think um, it's really interesting how in order for people to justify their resentment toward um, people who are queer, trans, or intersex, they make it about them. Oh, um, they recenter it. They, 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 they make it about them in order to make it their problem. I, I have a, a trans non-binary sibling, you know, and, and I know people in my personal life as well who are queer, and I am so grateful for how much it deepens my experience in this world. Oh my but. God, I, this man is literally <laughs> an example of what so many men should be. I mean, and Esteban too, like, I think- Yeah, and Esteban. <laughs> yeah. 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 